Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Yadi, and if you are new, please consider subscribing. In today's video, we are going to be going over a cosmetology, esthetician, and also nail tech information. If you are currently in school and you're preparing for your state board exam, and if you're a cosmetologist, esthetician, or nail tech, you may find the information very, very helpful. We're going to be going over infection control, electricity, and chemistry. Use the following information as a review to help you study. Information is not limited to the one shown in this video. Be sure to read your textbook for more information on each subject. Now let's get started. There's a total of 11 slides and we're going to start with slide number one. Keep in mind that all slides contain information you must know to help you prepare for your exam. Tools must be thoroughly cleaned before immersing. An EPA register number is given to a product along with the approval of the efficacy claims on the label to ensure the product is safe and effective. A disinfectant is acceptable for use on tools and also multi-use items. Slide number two. Disinfectants are chemical products used to destroy or kill most bacteria, fungi, and viruses on non-porous surfaces. Virucidals are disinfectants used to kill viruses. OSHA is the agency under the Department of Labor that enforces safety and health standards in the workplace. Slide number three. SDS, which is the safety data sheet, provides key information on products regarding toxicology, first aid, firefighting measures, and ecological information. The manufacturer is the party responsible for the distribution of the safety data sheets. The OSHA, which stands for Occupational Safety and Health Administration, Bloodborne Pathogen Standard requires the use of an approved EPA registered hospital disinfectant when tools and multi-use items come into contact with blood and body fluids. Slide number four. Store disinfected implements in a disinfected dry and cover container. Always store disinfectant in containers that are labeled. Always add disinfectant to water when diluting a concentrate to prevent foaming and an incorrect ratio for mixing. When performing a procedure for cleaning and disinfecting tools, first put on safety glasses and single-use gloves. The first thing you do when a blood exposure incident happens is stop the service. Slide number five. Light, heat, chemical, and magnetic changes are all produced by electricity. Silver and copper transmit electricity and are conductors. Materials that do not allow current to pass through them are called insulators. An amp is a unit of electric strength. A volt is a unit of electric pressure. Slide number six. A circuit breaker breaks the flow of current when an overload happens. Electrotherapy is the use of a specific electric current or piece of equipment for corrective and therapeutic benefits on the skin. 
do not use galvanic current over an area with many broken capillaries. The direct current used in electrotherapy treatment is galvanic. Slide number seven. The electrode that is negatively charged during an electrotherapy treatment is known as a cathode. Disincrustation causes sebum to break down or blackheads to be liquefied as in deep pore cleansing. The negative electrode pole used during galvanic current electrotherapy treatment will temporarily increase a client's blood flow. The temporary effects of using the positive pole of galvanic current include soothing the nerves, producing an acidic reaction, and slowing the blood flow by contracting the vessels. Slide number eight. Matter is a term that identifies anything that occupies space and has weight. Water freezing and becoming ice is an example of physical change. Basic substances that cannot be broken down into simpler substances are called elements. Two or more atoms joined together by a chemical bond is a molecule. Slide number nine. When two hydrogen atoms combine with one oxygen atom, the result is a water molecule, which is a compound. Atoms that are the same form an element. Carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen form the basis of amino acids. Amino acids join together in chains to become proteins. Slide number 10. Human hair is formed by protein chains that link to other protein chains. Side bonds help organize the protein chains found within the hair. A hydrogen bond can easily be broken by heat or water. pH is a unit of measurement that indicates whether a substance is acidic, neutral, or alkaline. A value of 7 indicates a neutral substance. Anything below 7 indicates more acidity. Values above 7 indicate more alkalinity. Slide number 11. The pH of skin and hair is in the range of 4.5 to 5.5. A mixture of two or more kinds of molecules evenly dispersed would be a solution. A solvent is a substance that is able to dissolve another substance. If instructions on a product indicate to shake well before use, the product is a suspension. An emulsion is formed when two or more non-mixable substances are united with the help of a binder. And that is it for this video. You guys, don't forget to go back and reread these chapters in your textbook. I cannot add all of the information that is in each chapter 
in these short videos. The purpose of these is to help you review and to see how much you actually know. And remember, I wish you guys the best of luck in your exam. I hope all goes well. Thank you so much for your continued support and your lovely comments. Don't forget to keep going, keep growing, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.